All right, a view out to the east from our SkyCam network. A uh, heavy traffic is basically uh, westbound now on I-94 is what you're looking at. Is there traffic getting ready to cross the bridge there? Nothing unusual, but everyone is taking it a little slower. Hope you do the same. As we head into the evening hours, our gray skies will fill with a few flakes. More on that momentarily, but right now 21 in Fargo. Wind from the east at 9 miles per hour, making it feel like 11 degrees on exposed skin. A cool air pool is up in the Devil's Lake Basin where Cavalier has one. Not so bad in Grand Forks at 14 degrees, seven for Devil's Lake. Out to the east, a lot of near 20 degree readings this hour heading into your evening. 20 in Bedette as well. Some significant snow, very heavy, making its way through Iowa and that's drifting off to the east and to the north of that, that's uh, kicking off a few showers of snow here through eastern South Dakota and central North Dakota. And this really blossoming over the last couple of hours. We'll start in the south. If you're in the Sisseton Hills, uh, uh, this, this is drifting up to the north and east. So we'll continue to do that as we go through the next few hours. And it is a little lighter, illustrated here by the light blues. Grand Forks. Uh, some flakes starting to fill in the atmosphere there in the northern valley as well as that continues to drift to the north and east. So that's fairly light and will not likely be a significant amount of snow yet. But here are the heavy bands of snow near the Minot area moving towards the Botno region. Uh, can do in Towner County and the Devil's Lake Basin will have a chance at seeing some more a rapid accumulation of snow as we go through the evening hours. It will affect your evening commute uh, or you're on your way home from hockey practice tonight. Here's a look at the hour by hour forecast. Snow drifting north and east through the evening and is going to be most likely to begin accumulating here as we get towards bedtime from Grand Forks and Fargo, even though we could still see a little bit of a dusting between now and then. Look at temperatures, steady eddy as we go through the uh, late evening hours. The temperatures will remain steady. The snow by the overnight hours will begin pushing into parts of western Minnesota toward the Twin Cities. And the entire distance between Fargo and the Twin Cities where they will get heavier banding of snow uh, will be some tricky travel as we begin our day. By the morning hours, the snow on the North Dakota side of the river looks to be all but wrapped up. Temperatures a little cooler than they are right now, but still in the teens. And snowfall amounts on the ground for many areas will already be between two and five inches for that morning commute, particularly in the Devil's Lake Basin. More on that in a second. Tomorrow, the problem is going to be the snow exits through the early half of the day. Gusty northwest winds develop to around 30 miles per hour. So I do believe there'll be some blowing and some drifting in open country. By the midday and early afternoon hours, we'll start to see temperatures falling as those northwest winds tug that Canadian air right back into the valley. Hour by hour forecast, we start out the morning with a few more remnant flakes of snow. They exit rapidly. Northwest winds gusting to 25 or 30 miles per hour through the afternoon. Temperatures falling in the afternoon from around 18 degrees. Here's a beautiful photo of, yes, the, uh, the well, the love swing out there. If you could make room for a, a couple, that would be nice. Danny, thanks for uploading your Callaway, Minnesota photo. Here's your planning forecast, and it looks a lot less like Houston every day. Uh, nine below to start your Wednesday, six above the high temperature. And on Valentine's Day, a high of two with a few flakes of snow. Next weekend, another shot at snow, and that's going to be followed up by an Arctic air mass. So our February cold and snowy trend looks to continue. Yes, but we're above zero. You know, for 20 highs. degrees, I mean, yes. Are just, you grilling tonight? I'm okay. Well, we, I might just do that, yeah, okay. because it's that's okay, you know. I agree. Yeah. Thanks, Hatch. We get excited about just about anything. You 